What's up guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's happening with Tesla Spy and the overall market. I'm also gonna break down some very, very important developments that are going on right now, because we have some new news that's very, very big for what's happening overnight. But just note that I am not a financial planner. Make sure you take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out my Weeble link. If you deposit any amount of money, you're guaranteed 12 free stocks. Deposit 500 bucks and you're guaranteed 20. Deposit 2,000 bucks or more and you're guaranteed 40. The offer ends in just two days. Anyways, Tesla is just consolidating. We saw a little bit of a dip down here all the way down. So just a little bit under my 256 target, we called out this low to a T. I called out this imbalance that was going to fill. And now we're trying to get back up to 260. So whether we get a big bounce or a dip, it could also depend on the big tech earnings that are starting. So what's happening with these earnings? So after the market closes today, uh, we have AMD, Alphabet slash Google, and Snap all announcing their earnings. The big one's going to be Google slash Alphabet. So get ready for these earnings. This is going to be very, very important because um, when they announce their earnings, it's going to give us a very, very big effect on the view of a lot of tech companies, what we see for the broader markets in these ETFs. And it's going to have a very, very big ripple effect on the broader markets. So what this means is we have this, this big report. We're expecting an EPS of $1.85 with revenue at a little bit over $86 billion. And just know that Wall Street tends to be kind of strict with a lot of these different revenue streams. So from YouTube advertising revenue to Google Cloud revenue, we're going to be watching to see how close we are to each of these expectations. So, so far, we're doing a pretty good job. Um, you know, the last earnings was not too bad. We'll, we'll have to wait and see how things end up going. There was a lot of talk about antitrust actions that were going on with the company. So they're going to be addressing a lot of that. So get ready for a big move. If Google absolutely kills, <laughs> excuse me, if they absolutely kill it and they do a very, very good job at, you know, knocking it out of the park, we could be looking for a rebound in the markets, which could help Tesla tomorrow. If not, there could be a rug pull. So make sure you're prepared for anything just to be safe. We'll be watching to see if Tesla could reclaim the 260s to start pushing back up. Or if we end up seeing a pump and dump, we end up losing 256 to turn more bearish. We're just waiting to see how it ends up going. If you're holding anything overnight, just be very, very wary of this. Be very, very mindful of the fact that there's some more data coming out. It's going to be our earnings. That's going to cause a lot more volatility for the markets. So be ready, guys, and we'll see how things end up going. As far as SPY goes, we're trying to pump right now. It is trying to push. But the issue is between 584 and 585, we do tend to get rejected. Every time we've hit that historically, we've rejected. So to break this, we need to be very bullish and break past 586 to remain more bullish. If we do push a little bit more, just be careful as we're getting very close to this resistance up here. So we'll see how things end up going. If we do end up rejecting, you want to see us lose 579.86 to turn more bearish. And that's when we're, we're going to be retesting the lows from before. But overall, we're doing a good job at holding up. And we'll be watching to see what the reaction happens to be for SPY. On ES, we're trying to push to about 5,900. Could push a little bit higher, at least technically speaking. But will we get a rejection closer to 5,900? Are we about to pump through it? Be careful, guys. It's going to be a tough resistance. So give it a little bit more time to develop. For NVIDIA, we're forming a very, very nice pennant right here. I do see potential for us to push into the 142s. We called out the 142 in my earlier video, and we actually got to it. So we could push a little bit higher, but it may continue to get tighter right over here as time progresses. So I'll give this some time to develop. Google could cause a big move for this as well. So we'll see uh, Google and AMD. AMD also has earnings too, so that's going to be important. For Bitcoin, we pumped very nicely to just under 73,000. If we don't break through that, there could be a dip back down towards the 71,000 area. For others out there, we have Tesla being range bound, so it's just waiting. Um, we also have NQ. It's trying to push to about 20,800. If it breaks this, we're going to turn more bullish. Once again, trying to approach the highs. And if we can't break uh, 20,800, we're looking for basically 20,650 as our support. So it still looks more bullish. We'll see how this ends up going. For the QQQ, we look more bullish. Uh, if we hold above 500, we're looking for 503 as our potential target. If we lose 500, we're looking for basically 498. So we still look more bullish looking for this target up here around this 503 area. Right now, the QQQ does remain a little bit more bullish. So we will see. So be very patient, guys, and give this the time it needs. As far as Apple goes, Apple's trying to look a little bit more bullish. We're looking for basically 235 as our resistance. And if we lose 231, we're turning back down. But this looks a little bit more bullish to me. So we'll see how it goes. Give this a little bit more time. Um, for the IWM Russell 2000, we're in the middle. If we hold above 221, we're looking for basically 222.8. If we end up losing 220, we're looking for a dip. So overall, I do see potential in this to push even more. For Coinbase, 
We're dipping right here. We're basically looking for this 212 area as a potential target alongside 215. I could be looking for 215 before an attempt to bounce though. So we'll see how it goes. Amazon's trying to break its resistance. If it does get a good report from Google, I do think Amazon's going to break out for about 194 or so. If not, if we don't get a good report, we're looking for 190 to break back down. This could be dipping. It does look more bullish, but we'll see depending on Google's earnings. Meta is looking more bullish. Looks like it wants to get up to 600. If we lose 590, though, we could be dipping back down towards 584. We look bullish, though. 600 is still approaching, so we'll see how it goes. Microsoft looks more bullish as well. As long as we don't lose 430, we do favor this imbalance, Phil, taking us up to about 435. And last but not least, we have Google. Google is still bullish, looking for 172. It is trying to form an inverse head and shoulders breakout, so it does have potential to push to the mid 170s. However, do not solely trade based off technicals when it comes to earnings. Remember when Tesla was dumping, 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 approaching its earnings, people thought it was going to crash, and then it did the exact opposite once earnings came out. So the same thing could happen vice versa with Google. We don't know what's going to happen until we get earnings. Yes, it looks bullish, technically speaking, but we'll see what happens with this. So if you're holding anything overnight, be careful, guys. I'm here to give you guys a warning about this. Earnings come out after market close today, and by tomorrow morning, the market could be gapping up or gapping down depending on how things end up going. I'm not discouraging you from trading, though. You could trade overnight and still make crazy good money. That's your choice. But I'm just here to let you guys know what the risks happen to be. All right, so thank you for listening. I'll be back in a couple of hours for another update. Until then, have a great day and peace out.